Greetings once again, Internet, and welcome to A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and by popular request, I am checking out Chairman of the Board, which is by the Stupendium. It is part of the Dan Bull Board Game Rap Challenge, which apparently was a thing that I missed. But uh, yeah, check it out. We're, we're, we're going to react to this video. I hear that this one is great. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm not a big board game person. I'm more of a video game person. But uh, that doesn't mean that I won't get some of the things in this. But it also means I might not get some of the things in this. That'll be a fun challenge, won't it? Anyway, uh, here we go with this thing. Stupendium Monopoly money. Just as a side note before this thing starts, whenever people are playing video games on camera, you can tell that they're not actually playing video games because they move the analog sticks or hit all the buttons more than anybody ever really does when they're actually playing. I had to do it in a music video. I did a video for my song Dig Dug, and the amount I moved the controller and hit the buttons is more than you ever do in playing that game. You have to make it dynamic. So it, it make it look like, oh, you're doing something. Because if you're playing it like you're really playing it, you're just like, meh, 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 <laughs> All right, they popped the thing. and uh... So it's the same thing with the controllers. And I'm over-explaining things, aren't I? I'm just saying things, you know, based on, on my reactions and my experiences. That's all. That's, that's what this show is. I'll go back to this. Roll up. It's a hell of a jacket. The tabletop is what the cause of. So grab some paper and start taking down the scores. But don't forget you're up against the chairman of the board. Right there. Game night, everyone. What's up first? I know what my money's on. If you're into causing a family schism, consider some tabletop capitalism. Most of talent is man and so talented, mobbing a profit with Randy and callousness. Isn't much use for financial analysis, banks are all frozen, the throes of paralysis. Golly, it's very nice crossing the parasites, man, I'm in paradise, give me a paradise. Whoa. That is a hell of a flow. That is awesome. Some really awesome wordplay, some clever flips. Give me a paradise, now you're in paradise. Uh, there was a couple layer before that that went by so quick. I yeah can't remember them. Uh, let's let's see if we can scroll back on that because holy crap! And also with him dressed as uh, the Monopoly man, he kind of looks like a young Doctor Demento. So if you're going into causing a family schism, consider some tabletop capitalism. Holy crap! As an opening salvo, that's amazing. That is a great line. That first bar already. That 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 first few bars. At first, of the first verse. It's so good, so quality, right off the bat. I don't know how I've not experienced any songs by this stipendium before that. I'm really glad that uh, I've now found this because uh, there's some really great, really clever, really well-written stuff here. I dig this. A family schism, consider some tabletop capitalism. A battle of balance is man, so talented, mopping up profit with rally and callousness. Isn't much use for financial man. analysis. Banks are all frozen, the throes of paralysis. Golly, it's very nice crossing the parasites. Man, I'm in paradise. Give me a paradise. Hold them, I blow them, I roll them, I'm stolen, my token right over the go, and I'm holding the dough, and I'm throwing at home to my portfolio. I'm a monopoly go, you won't trouble me, no. I'm a polished demolisher, dropping hotels right on top of my toes. If you stop when you vote on my property, no, that it's probably honestly gonna be more than the cost of the whole of the global economy. So you should just up and offer me all of your keys and your job. Or well, you could call it a robbery. You can't afford an apology. Or... I'm going cross-eyed. Because that is so good. Oh, um, and his flow is so fast. Man, really, really good stuff. Uh, I apologize for the noise. My air conditioning turned on because it's 90 degrees today outside. Huh. So if there's extra noise here, I'm sorry. Hopefully the audio cancels out the sound i'm good with words not as good as this apparently uh no i mean maybe hopefully my talking in the song cancels out the noise of breeziness you hear in my house we'll get back to the song your accountant would flounder and wobble the top of my profits would boggle and mock me stopping me 
Take me to court. All that I'm making, I'm taking abroad. So send me to jail and pay off my hair with your rent. And be thought about having your assets absorbed. Extorted before, what's cutting the cord? It could be a routine beauty award. You pitifully big and futility. I've got the roads and the rails and utilities. So bring the water works. Your tears were all the gears of my infamy. Hid in the living room, sat on the floor. Imagining I'm on the cover of Forbes. I'm turning this city upside down. Which really amounts to you flipping the board. Now I know nobody likes a loot box economy. That was an amazing first verse about Monopoly. Holy crap, that was blinding. That's the first minute and 40 seconds of this six minute song. <laughs> I, so I was like, is this whole thing about Monopoly? No, this is just an amazing first verse about Monopoly. We've got so much more to go. And I keep pausing because uh, that way I don't get copyright strikes because I keep stopping the song. And also, it, I'm not gonna try to react over top of the sound. That's really the main reason. But I think we can all agree on a community chest. Hmm? Roller, a good and a controller. Again, steam sail, I'm a steam roller. Yeah, the 12-year-old will next to go and hold her up your score. Now, when you're up again, chairman of the Scrabble. Sword. Think you can beat me? Winning is my middle name, which does not make it a proper noun. Have <laughs> you heard the word upon the street? The nerd prefer our words discreetly, neatly placed upon a sheet when we compete. Word to fringes for the weaker cheat. Pretender to the peak of word and slender. Classic Dang. Scrabble can unleash, except you see it never leaves me satisfied. Nice little dig at words with friends there, which I tried to say and was stopped by the sound of the song. This is why I pause, because I'm, I'm going to miss lyrics otherwise. I'm repeating my point. But man, Monopoly, Scrabble, he's doing classic board games, not going for, like, the niche stuff that I would expect, like Catan or uh, House on uh, the Curse of the House on the Hill or whatever the name of that game is. I don't know what the name of the game is. I just remember enjoying the game when I played it. But anyway, uh, you're, you're getting into deepness with uh, board game stuff, classic board game things. I saw he had a copy of Cluedo there, which is the... The British version of Clue. I don't know why it's called Cluedo. I don't, like, could they not call it Clue? I don't... A Clue is an actual thing. A Cluedo... I'm not familiar with what a Cluedo is. But anyway. We might get to that. I love playing Clue. Clue is my favorite board game, so I'm excited for that verse. I actually play Clue a lot on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, even my board games are on video games. Sorry, not sorry. Ow. Have you heard the word upon the street? The nerd prefer our words discreetly, neatly placed upon a sheet when we compete. Word to fringes for the weaker cheat, pretender to the peak. Your word is slender, classic Scrabble can unleash. Except you see, it never leaves me satisfied. With standard board to utilize, I play my Scrabble super size. It makes the points quadruple eyes. There's ancient mosaics, not half a prosaic, cause when I am placing my cards and amazing, it's made of me play up or rain. Intrinsic, realistic, linguistic, for time, I'm a dictionary, kicking my... Ah. He's got such an amazing flow and the rhymes on top of rhymes on top of rhymes and still just the clarity of it all. It's so good. It's all I can say is it's so good. When something is bad, you can use a million words to describe how bad it is. When something is good, sometimes you're just so flabbergasted all you can say, that is so good. That's great. That's wonderful. But it's Describing things as good is boring language. <laughs> and his language is just so vast. He, he, The man is a walking thesaurus and rhyming dictionary. I'm convinced now. Why did I not know about this before? How did I not know of this? I have to step my game up in my own stuff because it's not nearly as good as this. Uh, not that I thought I was great. I know I'm... I'm a rank amateur, but, uh, boy, I'm feeling really, really amateur. Wow. Good stuff. 
Storm into space, or at least to the corners. A double what's going for four, but I'm paying for triple or more. Taking multiple multiples up on the board. In a single attack, taking his multiple multiples. Awful attempt to spawn at the pen and the sword. Could never compare to the weapons I brought to the fore. Seven letters is all I need to do more for literature than Dickens and Shakespeare could ever have bought. My lexicon's better than anything ever attempted before. With clever and elegant spellings alone. Whatever the letters you're giving me, fiddly glyphs I administer liberally. I'll play a Q or a Z like a symphony. Given you quits it, records your synergy. Whoa! His lexicon, yeah. This verse is not so much a verse about Scrabble as it is about his... Ugh, I can't even say the words, and I'm not even rapping right now. This song is... This verse isn't so much about his Scrabble skills as it is his rapping prowess. Are you getting the impression I'm impressed? Maybe. So sling these nouns and verbs, sticks and stones might be preferred. So to sum up the rhymes you've heard, face it, you couldn't find the words. <laughs> Victory is Perfect. mine, which uses all seven tiles against me a 50 point bonus. <laughs> Roller, I put down your controller. I think you must bring that and do be sure to use a poster. You gave a shank the jangle with a cheap Mr. B. The game. But now, my friend, you're up against the chairman, not the board. I thank you all for coming this evening. I hear the traffic was murder. I suppose you're wondering why I've gathered you all here tonight. A murder has occurred, and I'll be first to shed some light. Now Mr. Black is on the ground, a victim of a crime most foul. That's the other thing about Clue, or Cluedo. It's not Mr. Body, it's Mr. Black. Which goes along with the themes of everybody else's name being a color or... Something evocative of a color, Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlet, etc. Um, Mr. Green. You, you know what I'm saying. But uh, this, uh, I did not realize until this reminded me, I, I think I may have known, that it's the, the victim is not called Mr. Body, he's called Mr. Black. This is going to be interesting, because I really love Clue. I would to you that here and now, within this crumbling country house, amongst this strange and sundry crowd, a murderer is on the prowl. Leave it to me to tell you how yeah. the heinous deed was carried out. This melting pot was overboiled. Watch out, you'll get your loaf of soil. I'm a dastard foe to foil, and I'm not half a Conan Doyle. I'll tell the clue to this gag. Not half a Conan Doyle, obviously. Arthur Conan Doyle, who wrote uh, Sherlock Holmes. Really great line flip, man. Really good. A room that's no slang to do when I'm tracking the truth. I'm an accurate stoop with immaculate proof. I'll investigate better than I can be good. I get the Christie nod. Did the flag and attack with a careful noose? So what did the spannery actually use? Spanner, wrench. It's the same thing. Words are different in other parts of the world. This matter is packed with all manner of tools. Although hands were all half had the hatch to remove. For an active of the statue of fall, the plan that was hatched both harvest and crawl. It's the guard, the pantry, the parlor, the pool. The rooms will depend on the board that you use. Hold it, I've sold it. Over some that the culprit used the curls on revolver, stolen from the drawer that holds it in the kitchen. Finger itching on the trigger, chamber loaded. And I say I want it noted. Or else the green's the one who pulled it. And I've got that scene which instantly vindicate for Mr. Green, which all that left on the board it would seem to infer that the murderer must have been me. Oh dear. It appears I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> that always happens. It happens to me so many times when playing when like I figured out all the clues and it turns out, oh the murderer was me. You'd think there was a way to let people know that, oh by the way. Uh, you don't remember it, but you're the killer. I mean, yes, it makes it more entertaining sometimes, but uh, I always think it's funny where I'm like, I'm going to make my accusation now. It was me. I accuse myself. And bravo to him for uh, being British and not referencing Tim Curry in the Clue movie. I would have, because I really love the Clue movie. And it's Tim Curry. Come on. I mean, that entire cast is amazing. There's a documentary being about, made about Clue called uh, Who Done It. If you go see the trailer, you might see a familiar face. Anyway, enough of self-plugging. Back to this thing. Bye. 
Laughing and blowing out the candle. That's great. That's some quality stuff. Really, really enjoyed this. Uh, lots of really clever lines. So much packed into that song. Three different verses about three different games. Uh, really, really high quality stuff. Uh, very surprised I have not heard of the Stupendium before this. So if there's any other Stupendium songs out there that you think are really funny and you think I should check out, leave those in the comments below. Uh, give this a like, uh, maybe uh, subscribe to my channel. Let me know all the things that you think I should check out that you think maybe I haven't checked out yet. There is a lot of comedy music out there, and a lot of it I have seen and I have checked out. But then there's stuff like this, which is brand new to me. So, that said, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, obviously, the links to the original video will be in the description. And uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Ian's gonna be the DM, I'm the dungeon master Gonna play all weekend, gotta let the geeks in They snack everything, checks, mix, cheese, nips, all snacks, everything Gonna find the treasure chest, riding on an epic quest Got my lucky d6 if you're ready, roll initiative Boosting my charisma, I'll explain later but